Hello, my name is Phil and I'm going to demonstrate how simple it is to use the Fusion component architecture. I'll set up a Java project and using just a few lines of code, I'll demonstrate how we're going to convert an STMX structure document into our STMX beans, which is our Java rep object representation of STMX. I'll import an STMX version 2.1 structure document into our STMX beans, interrogate its object and then I'll output the same structure in another format. I shall be using Eclipse, uh, this is version 3.62, and I've installed a Maven plugin because I'll be using the power of Maven. I've already configured Maven to point at an artifact tree which is hosting the STMX Fusion components which I'm going to need for this demo. So in Eclipse I shall create a new project and it'll be a Maven project. I shall make a simple one and the group ID can be anything we wish. I'll make it com.metatech dot demo and the artifact ID again anything we wish it to be in this case my demo that's the project created and I'll just bring in the structure file that I wish to convert bring it in here and put it in the resources directory and there it is I'm going to require three dependencies from Fusion Components and I shall add these to my POM now. I can do this graphically. Uh, the group ID is com.metatechnology and I'll just add the API in here and we'll add that and when we look at our POM we can see it's added. Now we require the API uh, for the interfaces. We'll need STMX beans and the STMX structure parser which has implementation classes to convert the input file into Java. For speed, I should just paste these in. So API, beans, and structure parser. And to show you they're in here, we can look at the dependency hierarchy and see the API and beans and the structure parser are in here. And also, they've been brought into the project down here. So now we can create a Java class. And I'll create a new package and I shall call this um, my.demo and in this package I shall create a new Java class uh, with a main and we'll call this one demo. So in this class we wish to parse a document so I'll create a method which returns nothing called parse document and we'll need to refer to our file and I'll use an URI to do this and say URI look file location is new URI source main resources and the name of our file in here which is the exr ng full dot xml I just organize the imports to bring in URI Now this throws an exception, so I'll just throw that back up the stack. And now we want a parsing manager to parse our document. I shall uh, create a field called structure parsing manager and organize the imports on that. There we are. I shall say structure parsing manager parse structure our URI file. And there we are. Now this returns a workspace, a structure workspace. So I shall just structure workspace, assign this here, workspace, like that. And then we can ask the workspace some questions. We can query it for the beans. Workspace dot get structure beans. We're not interested in cross references, so we say false there. This returns us STMX beans. Organize imports. And then we'll do something very simple. We will ask the beans uh, for the number of code lists. Get code lists size. And we'll ask the beans for the number of key families. And I mentioned earlier, we're also going to write this out in another form. So we'll say, Workspace, write structures, and the structure type. We've got a 2.1 file coming in, so let's make it a 
version 2. To make schema version 2, we need an output stream here. So we'll just use system out. And we don't want cross references. So we'll say false there. And there's our parse document method. We shall call this by saying instantiate a new demo. Demo demo is new demo and demo dot parse document. And there's our code. However, we've yet to set up the structure parsing manager. We haven't created one. So um, I'm going to use the power of Spring to do this because the STMX Fusion components make use of Spring, so that's what we're going to do here. So, first of all, we need to auto wire the field and we need to make this class a service. And instead of constructing this class ourselves, we shall ask Spring to do it for us. So here we are asking Spring to create us a class. We'll also need a Spring file with a bare bones setup that will allow these components to work. Um, I've got one here. And if I just drag this in to the right place in here, copy that file in there, and edit that slightly. Now this file needs a little bit of editing to make it work. I want to do a component scan on our project, which was my demo. And by doing this, this will allow um, the auto wide elements to get set up correctly and on startup all dependencies resolved. Spring is going to inject implementation classes and just glue everything together for us, save us the hard work. And finally, we can run the jar for application. The output is displayed in the console, the number of key families and code lists here, and the output in a version 2 format, version 2.0. And there we are, simple manipulation of a structure file through Java objects. Thanks for listening.